Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to install a battery maintainer charger on your vehicle. I've got a battery pad heater under this one, which doesn't really work that great. I'm not a huge fan of those. It's pretty old. So I'm going to put one of these uh, maintainer guys on here and just permanently install it and hook it up to my plug as part of my winterization. If you live in cold climates like I do, uh, you definitely need a battery heater or a maintainer charger. I prefer the maintainer chargers. Uh, get your battery topped off and ready to go when, even when it's really cold. So let's open up the box and see what we got here. We've got the little charging unit itself, the 110 plug. So I just want to make sure that I'm using a 12 volt uh, charger. It says all types, lead, acid. So we've got a pair of clamps. Now, I'm not going to use these clamps right here because that's uh, for a bench. Like if you're going to bring your battery in, set it on the bench and maintain it, or uh, just temporarily hook it up to the terminals. I want to do a more permanent installation, so we're going to set these aside. These are the guys I'm looking for right here. So this is going to get hooked up directly to the terminals. The negative terminal and the positive terminal with the 7.5 amp fuse. I'm going to check make sure there's a fuse in there. Yep. Now I'm going to hook up the ring terminals, the adapter end. And the red's going to go to positive. To this side. That's my positive terminal. And I'll take my black wire to the negative terminal. It should be over here. And it just so happens for me that these ring terminals fit right over the top here. Which is great. Now you might have to depending on which uh, battery maintainer you buy, these ring terminals may or may not be the correct size and you might have to uh, get a bigger one. Now they can be hooked up uh, right here as well if you don't have a top top connection post like that. They're swinging this around on this positive terminal. Uh, you really want to be careful not to contact anything metal with this this tool. You'll end up with a, sh a lot of sparks and a short. I'm going to leave these a little bit loose until I uh, locate my uh, charger, so I can swing those around. This would be a great time, uh, you know, before you install it too, if you need to uh, clean your terminals or tighten them down. These already have dielectric grease on them. All right, now I'll tighten these. So now I'm going to take my charging unit and uh, I need to find a home for it somewhere in here. And then I'll be able to route my... Uh, plug my 110 plug back over here to my three-way plug is you know, give it a test fit you see that pigtail on the plug there isn't super long pick the location for it I'm gonna put it right here Just zip tie it onto the ground cable it's about the best location I have to keep it out of the weather here but I don't have enough cord plug it in so I've got a little uh, short extension cord that I'm going to use to extend down to my three-way plug.
All right, I'm just gonna route the plug in down through here, keep it out of the way of everything. I'm just gonna pull enough slack to uh, hook up into my three-way plug, and then I'll take a zip tie and take up the rest of the slack and zip tie that up. Okay, let's plug it in and see if it works. Okay, it's working. The red light is on, which indicates that it's charging. When it's fully charged, it'll uh, turn green. So now I'll have a way to maintain my battery and keep it fresh and uh, heat the engine up at the same time. So it's real easy to install one of the battery maintainers. It's not a hard job to do. The hardest part of it is routing the wires and figuring out where you're gonna put the unit. So you just gotta do a little test fitting and get it kind of where you want it. Make sure you have enough length of cord on each end to get it plugged in and get it hooked up to the battery terminals. So hopefully this helped you guys and uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.